In this video tutorial, you can see how to install and create attractive events list using events widgets for Elementor plugin. First, you need to install events widget for Elementor plugin. You need to go to WordPress dashboard and click on plugins and again click add new. In the plugins page, you need to type events widget in the search field. And next, in the plugin search results page, you will find events widgets for Elementor plugin by Cool Plugins. Install the events widgets plugin. And once the plugin installation is completed, you need to click and activate it. The plugin has been installed and activated. Next, to use this plugin on Pages, in left side of WordPress dashboard, go to Pages, and again click Add New. You need to name the page, so enter page title here. And continue editing by clicking this Edit with Elementor button. Here in Elementor dashboard search bar, type and search for event. Next, drag and drop the events widget on the page. This is how the events list will look like on the page. This is the default events layout where only the upcoming events are shown. You can change the events type here from upcoming events to the past events or the complete events list with both the upcoming events and the past events. Under layout, there are three options, list layout, which is the current layout. This is the minimal list layout and the third, the calendar layout. In this tutorial video, we will select the list layout option. Under the list layout style, we have two styles, style one which is the current style. And next style two, which we will select for this video tutorial. Under events time, you can display all the events, the past events, and upcoming events, with this first option. Or select a date range, and display the events, from one date to the other date, like events for a specific month, with this second option. Here, you can change, the maximum number of events, to be displayed on the page. Next, you can select the date format for the event here. You can display the events in ascending or descending order based on event dates. And next, you can show or hide the venue of the event in the layout. Here, you can either display or hide the event description. And next, you can display or keep the event category hidden with this option if needed. The extra info section is locked for the free version. With this, we have set up the events widget under list layout for Elementor. In the next video tutorial, you can see how to use style settings in the events widget list layout with Elementor.